Good afternoon. My name is Tom. I come to you from the rustic log cabin in northern Maine. Well, while we're here, I got a topic that I'd like to bring up. It was actually, I, I had a, a family member, my favorite niece. My favorite niece texted me the other night and she asked me if I would do a video on the coronavirus. Well, <laughs> this channel is not political at all. It's about the great outdoors. But I, I, uh, I, I, I'll give, I was thinking to myself, I, I, I'll give it some thought. And as I thought about it, I thought, you know, it probably is a pretty good topic to bring up because it does go along with what this channel is about. This channel is about self-reliance, uh, survival, whether it be in town or whether it be out here in the bush. It's just basic life, you know, life skills and all that. So as I thought about it, I got thinking, you know, this is a great example of survival and stuff that we probably should already be doing. You know, I listened to the radio, especially this morning and a couple days ago. Uh, you, you can't go to the store and buy hand wipes. You can't go to the store and buy uh, hand sanitizer because people are cleaning it out off the shelves, you know, and hoarding it and all of that. Well, you know, we should be prepared, you know, coronavirus, tornado, hurricane, uh, the blizzard of, of 2020. You know, it's all being prepared for whatever. You know, we all talk about, especially on YouTube, when the crap hits the fan. Well, this is one of them times when the crap is hitting the fan. If you listen to the news and you listen to the radio and you listen to the media, this is one of those times. Well, if you're prepared ahead of time, you know, for any disaster, it doesn't have to be the coronavirus, but let's talk about the coronavirus. Let's take it down a notch. You know, like way down a notch. It's not in your backyard yet, probably. You know, when I looked at the news, you know, we've got, I don't know, 100 or so cases here in the U.S. Uh, the, the flu, the flu, the common cold, kills a lot more people than what have already been killed with this coronavirus. So let's let's take it down a notch, step back a little bit, and uh, not panic so much. You know, like I said, maybe being prepared ahead of time for any disaster uh, is better than worrying about the coronavirus. You know, I mean, you, you should have some of that stuff on stock anyways. I received a phone call a couple of weeks ago. Am I going to stock up for the coronavirus? And I hadn't really even gave that any thought. I said, what do you mean? I was thinking, what do you mean stock up for the coronavirus? You know, in case case we get locked down and all that. What are they? I forget what they called it. Uh, anyways, quarantine. Yeah, in case you get quarantined. And I got thinking, no, I'm not going to go to the store and I'm going to stock up. Because I've already done that. I'm stocked up for a snowstorm. I'm stocked up for a tornado or, or any kind of natural disaster that comes through and the crap hits the fan. And if you're not living that way to, to have at least a couple of weeks worth of supplies in your back pocket, you know, or in your pantry, where you could, you could make something from nothing and create big meals and be able to take care of yourself, then you're probably living too close to the edge as it is. You know, be prepared. Be prepared for natural disaster. You know, like this, you know, who knows what this coronavirus is gonna do, but just step back, take a, take a breath and, and relax and see what it's gonna do. You know, they talk about creating a vaccine. Hopefully it'll be ready. Hopefully it'll be ready within a year. Well, let's think about that for a minute. 
When was the last time they created a vaccine for the common flu that actually matched the common flu? Like they want you to get a flu shot every fall. And I do get a flu shot every fall. And then most of the time we find out that it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a match for that particular flu anyways. So if we're waiting a year for this vaccine and hopefully they come up with something so that that really does work, that's a great thing. But, you know, just step back, take a breather. The reason my family member contacted me was because she was kind of making fun of where I am 99% of the time. I'm here at the cabin. There's no people. If there's no people, there's no coronavirus. <laughs> so that's the real reason she was calling. Well, the real reason she texted me was is just the lifestyle that I live. They kind of think of me as the family hermit, <laughs> which is all right. Uh, I'm not really the family hermit. I'm just a woodsman that spends a whole lot of time out in the bush. But I can tell you something from being out here as much as I am. It's rare that I catch a cold. It's, 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 I mean, I can go two, three, four years without catching a cold. Uh, and when I do catch a cold, it's because I was around a, a big group of people. Uh, if I know someone has got the cold or got the flu, I avoid them like the plague anyways. Uh, you know, other if it's a family member, if it's a family member, then of course I'm there to, to uh, support and take care of. You know, like if my wife gets gets sick like that, then of course I'm there. Uh, but that's the real reason she was kind of making fun of my uh, my lifestyle, I believe, here at the cabin, away from the general public. But like I heard on the radio, wash your hands, wash your hands. You know, stay away from big crowds of people and wash your hands. And that's all just plain common sense anyways. It's during flu season, it's the same thing. Wash your hands, stay away from crowds of people. You know, if you're sick, don't go to work, all that stuff. It's all exactly the same. You know, so, you know, I said, I don't want to get too political here, but I just want to see people take it down a notch. Take it down a notch and prepare. Prepare for when the crap hits the fan. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a, you know, big war or, or whatever. I mean, it, it uh, crap hits the fan all the time, every single year, every single something goes uh, wrong around you. Whether you've lost the power, we've lost the power before for days on end. You know, so it's a matter of just really preparing. So, here's to my niece, if you're watching this, I hope that uh, <laughs> this answers your question to what I would do with the coronavirus. And for the rest of you, <laughs> just wash your hands, stay clean, and prepare for any disaster in the future. I'm preparing right now as we speak. I'm trying to catch me a fish. Fish with my beans tonight. If I know how to catch a fish and the crab hits the fan, guess what? I'm going to eat. I've spent a lifetime learning how to eat off the land. <laughs> That's the best thing I can do to prepare for the coronavirus. I'm not making fun of anything. I think it is very, very serious. I just think that people have uh, need to step back, step back and see what's going to happen before they react. <laughs>